In this next sequence, the lens loading process is demonstrated. It is important to ensure that prior to insertion, the blue tip of the plunger is not visibly extending within the loading bay and the lens is positioned centrally. After phaco emulsification and cortical cleanup, a suitable ophthalmic viscosurgical device is used to inflate the capsular bag and lubricate the injector loading bay and nozzle. Note the positioning of the lens within the loading bay in a reverse S configuration. The edge of the lens is placed beneath the extended lip of the fixed wing of the loading bay with a pair of non-serrated forceps such as Kelman McPherson's. Finally, the opposite edge of the optic is positioned and care is taken to ensure that the haptics are completely within the loading bay. The injector wings are closed and the lens advanced with a slow, continuous and controlled movement of the plunger into the nozzle ready for implantation. Before proceeding, correct orientation of the lens within the nozzle is observed. The lens should move easily and progressively through the injector nozzle before emerging from the tip and entering the capsular bag.